For the last sixth step in exercise one, iMachining walkthrough, we will define the rough and finish machining of the pocket ledge. Add a new iMachining operation. Right click operations, add milling operation, and select 2D iMachining. We'll use the default iRough for technology. Click new to define the machining geometry. Pick on the lower contour of the pocket ledge in the SolidWorks graphics area as shown here. Select Auto Constant Z on the left to close the chain and then click Yes to accept the selection. In the chain list of the Geometry Edit dialog, right click on Chain 1 and select Mark Open Edges. In the SolidWorks graphics area, pick on the outside edge of the pocket ledge. iMachining is now informed that it can use this open edge for entry. Click OK to accept. In the Levels section of the Geometry Edit dialog, click Upper and pick on the top face of the stock model to define the upper machining level. Click OK to accept. Then, click Depth. Pick the bottom face of the pocket ledge for the machining depth definition, as shown here. Click OK to accept. Then, click OK to exit the Geometry Edit dialog. Switch to the Tool Branch and click Select. We will use the same 9.5mm end mill tool defined in the previous operations by selecting it from the list in the tool table. We'll also use the default technology wizard settings with a machining level aggressiveness of 3, just as we did previously. In the technology branch, we will leave a 0.24mm offset on the wall. Let's name this operation iRough Pocket Ledge. Click Save and Calculate to add this operation to the cam tree and calculate the toolpath. Then click Simulate. After the simulation control panel is displayed, press play in the solid verify mode. The tool approaches from outside and performs the roughing toolpath, first removing the material from the middle of the ledge and then clearing its corners. Exit the simulation and then click Save and Copy to create a copy of the newly added iMachining operation to perform the finishing of the pocket ledge. Choose iFinish for Technology. We will use the copied geometry selections, same tool, and milling levels from the previous iRough operation. We'll also use the default technology wizard settings with a machining level aggressiveness of 3. Switch to the technology branch. Under the Technology tab, we can see the Wall Island Offset value is now set to 0, and the previous iRough Pocket Ledge operation appears as the parent operation under the iRest Data tab. Lastly, let's name this operation iFinish Pocket Ledge. Click Save and Calculate, then click Simulate to simulate the operation in the Solid Verify mode. Press play to run the simulation. The finishing of the pocket ledge is performed in a single pass. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the iMachining exercise. Next, please join us for another Getting Started with iMachining session called Exercise 2, iMachining of a Bracket.